So we have a uh, Mazda 6 2.5 engine. We will be fitting this into an NC MX-5. Just about to start the conversion. As you can see, with the uh, Mazda 6 engine, you don't use any of the manifolds. You don't use the thermostat housing, coils, you swap the cam cover. You can see the front engine mount for the front wheel drive setup on the 2.5 head. <clears throat> we will be changing the front pulley. 2.51 doesn't suit the MX-5. We take the pulley off the MX-5 and fit it onto the 2.5 engine. So first thing, we remove the bolts front of the uh, cam chain cover, front cover, engine cover. Then we are going to remove all of the bolts that attach the sump to the bottom of the engine as we have to remove the balance shafts that are in the sump on the 2.5. As we're fitting the, the uh, 2 litre MX-5 sump and the oil pickup, we have to remove the balance shaft as they don't fit inside the sum with the two litre the two litre sum once we remove the balance shaft there's an oil gallery that needs to be plugged you can buy a um, plug which is available in the US market but in Australia cheaper and easier I just uh, tap out the hole the oil gallery hole stick a bolt in it seal it up not a problem, cheap and easy. So uh, we're about to start pulling the sump off. I just used my uh, trusty du Milwaukee um, 3 8 drive rattle gun. Here we go. The bolts on the front are 8 mil. The others around the sump. <coughs> All uh, 10 mil. As you can see, the 2.5s sometimes they have a different type of oil filter setup with a cartridge. This one is actually exactly the same as the MX5 setup, so we don't need to change that. this engine. I'm planning to fit some cams as well so we'll get onto that a bit later but um, at this stage we're just doing the bottom end conversion which is uh, isn't actually a lot to it but it's something you have to do this is becoming quite a popular conversion now with um, a few of the NC engines getting a bit old and worn out. Cheaper and easier just to buy a um, engine out of a Mazda 6 or a Mazda 3 2.5. I bought this one from uh, one of the local Mazda wreckers, $950. Two litre engine, two litre MX5 engine, probably paying two grand, two and a half grand. This is a low kilometre. Mazda 6 engine, approximately 60,000 kilometres. <clears throat> Just had to go and get a hammer, probably should have had that ready before. Give it a tap, loosen up the, uh, the glue, these don't, they don't use a gasket in this form, just use the glue, works really well as you can see, 60,000 k's and the, there is one drop of oil, oil leak, it's a very good setup, and there we go, sump is off, and that just goes 
straight to the recyclers. As you can see, this dirty big hunk of cast iron is the balance shaft that's going to be coming off as well as that oil pickup so we can fit the uh, 2 litre sump. That's the oil pump there, you can see how it's driven by the, the little chain that comes off the, the uh, crankshaft gear. And here we go, we'll get a 14mm and we'll um, take off this big ugly looking uh, first of all I think we'll get an 8mm take off the oil pickup just made of plastic very easy to get off Keeping all the screws at the moment, just a little container out the back there. Chuck that out, make a bit of a mess. And get our 14mm socket. Stick it on the trusty Milwaukee. And here we go. Four bolts. There you go. Straight into the big spares container. This thing is big and heavy, so you just need to. And the bolts come off. There it is. Big, dirty, big, ugly balance shaft driven off the crankshaft, as you can see. Has an oil supply. Comes through there. That's the one that we need to disconnect. As you can see, big gear on the crankshaft that drives the balance shaft and up here, the hole to the right is the one that we need to block off and that closes off the oil gallery that supplied the oil to the balance shafts. So, part two of this video, we'll be tapping that out and putting a plug in it.